What's good? Stormy B-Man and I'm back with another Stormy B-Man's Briefs. This time, the focus is on Canelo Alvarez and what his options are going into 2024. According to an article written by Boxing News 24 columnist David Ambrose, he's stating that Canelo's options for May would be Jamal Charlo, Terrence Crawford, and Jaime Munguia. Going into those opportunities, it looks like Canelo may have to make a decision about which fighter to take on, and if he's successful, choose who would be the remainder on the last fight of a three-fight deal that he made with PBC. It is saying that Canelo Alvarez reportedly has three options for his next fight in May with Jamal Charlo, Terrence Crawford, and Jaime Munguia being the ones who are in the running. This will be undisputed super middleweight champion Alvarez's second fight of his three fight deal for PBC. So it's important that he selects an opponent that will attract pay-per-view buys. A final decision by the undisputed super middleweight champion Canelo will be made shortly. Unfortunately for David Benavidez, his name didn't make the cut for Alvarez's fight in May, but he's a potential option for September, according to ESPN Knockout. If Benavidez wants to improve his chances of fighting Canelo, he must stop avoiding David Morrell Jr. and get it over with. That's a fight that Benavidez must take if he wants to become a shoe-in for the September clash against Canelo. If he doesn't do that, it's probably over with for him. I want to stop right there for a moment and just speak about Canelo is hoping and wishing that as Benavidez takes on more opponents that he'll eventually succumb to someone that will, in this event, upset him because he is the favorite going in. He's the uncrowned champion that they stripped the title from that allowed Canelo to become undisputed without facing him. And the politics of this game has been played so strongly that even writers are not telling the truth. This whole thing about David Morrell, who doesn't, if I'm not mistaken, he doesn't have 10 to 12 fights on his resume yet. He's still an unproven factor out there, though he has the potential to one day be a threat. He's not there yet. And the whole thing about boxing is timing is important. So if Morrell is able to get himself angled into a position to beat someone with a name without having truly been tested himself, so be it. But if you look at Benavidez's past two fights, Caleb Plant and now Demetrius Andre, with that kind of past track record, he's batting a thousand way better than anything Canelo has done thus far. The article continues that they're saying that Benavidez is swerving Morel like the plague and that Benavidez won't be happy about being left out of Canelo's plans for May and he should look for a solid win. My, how they turn the tables in the sport of boxing with irresponsible journalism. If you were to read these articles for yourself, and the link will be in the description box, this article from Boxing News 24, they speak as if David Benavidez is the fighter that has to prove himself. What Canelo needs to prove is that these justified paydays where these networks and apps have thrown so much money at him that he feels that he can do as he pleases. But the boxing fans, and including boxing legends, like to look at it as fighters owe it to the public to put on the type of matches that the public will pay to see. I do believe people are getting hip to Canelo and the fact that he has been ducking Benavidez now for two years. Two years ago, no one knew who David Morrell was, which just goes to show you 
Benavidez was already a world champion before Canelo was able to become undisputed. And so that's the man that Canelo needs to face or he needs to get out of the sport of boxing. It's as simple as that. And there is no other line to this story but the truth. But what do you think? This is Stormy B Man. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective. Peace to everyone out there and everyone please remain safe.